Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, I love talking about some of the most central themes in the Bible. I love the Bible. I've been reading the Bible now for more than 20 years, and as I continue to read it, continue to meditate upon it, learn from it, think about it, I'm always learning more and more things. One of the things that the Bible speaks about is the idea that God is glorified, God is praised, God is made much of when we bear much fruit. Jesus said in John 15 that we bear fruit by abiding in Him, because we are the branches and he is the vine. And when we abide in him, we bear much fruit. I talk about this in my brand new book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life. One of the things that I, I make the case is, is that the truly happy person is the person whose life is fruitful. Now, the fruit that we're really talking about is the fruit of the spirit. But here's one of the things I wanna tell you. A fruit tree never partakes of its own fruit. The, the gift that the fruit tree gives to the world is that other people, when they come up to the fruit tree, they can partake of it. You never see an apple tree eating an apple, but a person eating an apple gets a ton of enjoyment. And it reminds me, of course, of what Jesus said in, in Acts chapter 20. The apostle Paul said that Jesus said, you are more blessed to give than receive. You are happier. Remember, the blessed person is the happy person. You are happier to give than to get. And when God is bearing fruit in your life as you abide in Jesus, other people are gonna receive the blessing of the fruitfulness of your life. And as you're giving of what God has birthed in you, you're gonna have such joy and satisfaction in being a blessing because God has blessed you. Isn't that so powerful? I talk about this in Crazy Habits. This you. I want you to share this video because I want all of us to see our lives as fruit trees to bring bless the blessings of the Lord to other people. And this is what I want you to do in the comment section. I want you to share a story where the work that God had done in someone else's life reached you and nourished you and blessed you, that the fruitfulness of someone else's journey has become something that gave you life so that we can celebrate this idea that as God bears fruit in our life, it's not just for us, he does it for others as well to see that other-centeredness of the ways of God. And God bless you today.